Hello and welcome back to the channel. In something of a rare Friday release, Apple decided today to release iPadOS 18.4 Developer Beta 1. And unlike 18.3, there's actually some new features in this release which make it interesting enough to talk about. But to get the most important item out of the way, in case you're wondering, no, there is no sign of the new updated Siri with personal context yet in this release. Recent rumors suggest that we may not see that till 18.5, and potentially even beyond that. And that's just disappointing. I know a lot of people, myself included, were really looking forward to this as, as probably the most useful of the first round of Apple Intelligence features they announced last year. Anyway, let's get on to the new features. So after the updated Siri that didn't show up, the feature I was most looking forward to was the updated Mail app. Now, iPhone users got the updated Mail app earlier in the 18 cycle, but now it's come to both iPad and Mac. The big change is that Apple Intelligence automatically categorizes your mail into a few categories. There are five different categories, well really kind of four. Primary, which is probably where you'll spend most of your time, is what the system thinks are your most important, or priority, messages that require your attention. Transactions is kind of like what it sounds like. It's receipts, it's order confirmations, things of that nature are surfaced in that category. Updates are social media updates, subscription updates, newsletters, stuff like that goes here. And then promotions, I just consider basically junk mail. If you tap on one of those categories again, you get kind of a hidden all mail view, which as you would think just shows you all of your messages without these categories applied. Now, if you tried this out and you don't like it or you just don't want to even deal with it, if you tap on the ellipsis in the upper right corner, you have an option to revert back to list view, which disables the categories altogether and makes the mail app as it was before. Image Playground, which is Apple's app for creating custom fun images via prompts, gets a new style in 18.4. Now, to this point, we've had both the animation style, which has been my favorite, and the illustration style, but now we get a third style, and that is sketch. And just like the name implies, it's going to render your prompted image in a style that a sketch artist might use. Now, unfortunately, it still makes me look like someone else entirely, so that's still not great. But if you're someone who likes to play with Image Playground every so often, it's nice to have another option here. Now, I don't use a ton of widgets, but I always love when new ones show up. And the podcast app gets a couple of new ones, of course, of different sizes. Now, we've had the Up Next widget for a while here, but now if you scroll over, you see there's this new library widget, and this plays episodes from one of the lists in your library. So, for example, if I add this to my home screen, I'll pick this one, and then tap on it, I'm able to see the different lists I'm able to switch between, downloaded episodes, saved episodes, things like that. The other widget that was added is a new shows widget, which works much the same in that I'm able to pick one of the shows that I follow, and then that widget will show and let me access episodes from that particular show. I can configure which show right from the widget. I guess not really working right now, but I think you can kind of get the idea of what they're going for here. So some nice new widgets. For News Plus subscribers, Apple's adding a food section to Apple News. Now this section does a couple things. First, it surfaces food and nutrition related news content in one place. But there's also, more interestingly, a recipe catalog. And just like you might think, Tapping on that brings me to a list of recipes in different categories that I can get information on and potentially cook myself. So for example here, I love potatoes, so let's go ahead and tap on the Cajun potatoes. That looks good. That comes up with a list of ingredients, tells me how many it serves, and I get step-by-step -step directions which is really, really nice, and more things like this. I'm gonna tap on the cook button. And when I do that, I get this interface that feels a lot like the lyrics view in Apple Music, but I can go step-by-step -step through the directions to repair this meal. Now I like this, so I'm gonna go ahead and save it. And if I come back 
to the food section and go to save recipes. I now have a grouping of all the recipes I've tried and maybe I've liked and so I've saved them and they're here in one place. Kind of an unexpected feature, but cool for those of you who do subscribe to Apple News Plus. 18.4 also brings priority notifications. Now I feel like we've had a couple of priority notification related features already, but this is a different one. What this one will do is visually separate notifications that the system has deemed are high priority or important on your lock screen or notification center. So what does that look like? Well, let's go into settings and let's tap on notifications. You'll see there's a new, under Apple intelligence, there's a priority notification section, which is off by default. If you tap on that, I'll toggle that on, but you see you get this nice animation that'll show you how the notifications will look on your lock screen. So let's see this in action. I'm gonna go ahead and send myself a text. This text will have the word important in it or be written like it's an important message. And now let's go ahead and pull down the notification shade. And now we can see we have this priority notification section with my important message that should visually draw my eye to it and hopefully make it so I see those over other notifications that I may have in Notification Center at that time. 18.4 also adds the ability to play ambient music right from Control Center in one of four different categories Apple's predefined. Let's take a look at these real quick. Go into the Control Center toggles and you'll see we have four different options here. We have sleep, chill, productivity, and well-being. I'm gonna add the productivity one to my control center and toggle it. Now, you're gonna to have to trust me here that this is actually playing music. The last time I tried to play music in a video, YouTube complained, so I don't really wanna do that. But trust me, you can see here, it's playing via control center. It's playing some kind of wordless, ambient background music. So if that's something you like to listen to and you wanna to get to it quickly, it's now gonna be available in control center. I'm going to end this video with a couple of small things and a few things yet to come. First of all, there's a new default app option in the default section for translations apps. I only have the Translate app installed, but I would assume something like Google Translate or Bing Translate would show up here if you have multiple translation apps installed. And then next, going back to the Genmoji feature, Apple is more prominently featuring it in the Messages app. So if you go into the emoji keyboard, you'll actually see a little Genmoji label that's, which is kind of more prominent with a little tooltip, just to make sure that people see it. Wasn't particularly obvious from the describe an emoji text field there that that would also be how you access Genmoji. And coming in a later iPad OS beta, we're actually getting the tiniest bit of integration with Vision Pro. Now we're not getting the Vision Pro app that's coming to iPhone, which is kind of unfortunate. iPad users will be able to configure guest mode on their Vision Pro right from their iPad instead of having to do it on Vision Pro. That's gonna do it for this high level overview of what's new in iPad OS 18.4 so far. More to come if new features show up during the later betas. As always, if you made it to the end of the video, thank you, I really appreciate you. If you could like the video and subscribe to the channel on your way out, that would help me and the channel out a bunch. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.